guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomus coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Robots in Disguise One Step Underbite, a new character in the show, and also our first Decepticon in the new line. As you can see for the package, you got the logo here, as well as an image of him from the cartoon itself, and then the instructions are right there. Now one thing that's interesting is looking at the vehicle mode here, uh, you Kind of looks like Shockwave, sort of. And then he transforms into a dog-looking thing. I don't know. But you got the instructions there as well, as well as the product shot for him. And as with all these other one-step figures, this can also be used with the Transformer game, which is available for download at the App Store or Google Play. Once you download it, you can scan the logo, which in this case would be a Decepticon logo, and then you'll be able to unlock and play this character in the game itself. But for the packaging, that's about it. Very similar to all the other one-steps, except this one does show you the product shot. For some reason, Sideswipes didn't show the other figures. Maybe it's because it's a smaller package or something. And the shell's a little bit thinner for Sideswipe than all the other ones. But that's about it. For underbite, so without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys. So here we have the one-step underbite opened up and out of its packaging. And on it, I mean, this is this is a brand new character, so I obviously don't know much about it. Uh, we haven't seen the show yet, so I'm not 100% sure why he looks like Shockwave. Uh, I, but it really has a very Shockwave kind of look. I mean, the purple, obviously, you got the two little uh, pieces coming up here. Uh, really strange that, that it would look that similar to that previous Transformer Prime character, but uh, eh, whatever. Uh, you can see he's got his Decepticon logo right up there. You can also scan that for the video game. Uh, this doesn't stay up. I mean, you can see that kind of droop. Oh, that's, well, this, no, see, it droops, that, which is kind of unfortunate, but like right there, it stands, so it looks a little bit better, but when it's all the way down like that, sometimes it doesn't go all the way up when you're transforming, it, 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 you can see his head right there, but you got some nice silver kind of accents here in the middle, you got the black tires, he rolls fairly well, he, that's about it. Uh, now, to transform him, it, it's kind of weird. Now, first time I did it, it worked, Second time when I did it, it didn't. And then I actually had to come down here and unscrew this and kind of fiddle with it to get it to do this again. So to transform it, you just take these two sections here, push them together, and boom. That's it. That's that's how you transform them. Uh, you can see the, the legs swivel back. These go back. His head goes forward. It's very simple. It's probably a little bit more simple than the other ones and not as, I guess, creative. And just something about this just... I mean, yes, it's a one-step changer, and it's obviously simplified, but for some reason, this just seems even more so. Uh, now, you got this little tab right here where you can actually push this up, and you can make his mouth go like that, and you can have him talking, Hello, I'm up to bottom of I'm doing video reviews. Uh, uh, that's that's it. I, I don't know why they don't have it where you can push it down and have them do it. You got to push up. That's kind of weird. But you can see some nice added paint on here with the, the red fur his eyes. You got the red strip right there. You got silver fur his jaws. And uh, you, you can see he's he's got an underbite. So that works. Now, as you can see, it locks up there fairly well. But like I said, the second time when I did it, it didn't want to lock. So uh, unscrewing things, I actually got it to actually stay locked again. Now to transform him back, you just take the two sections and pull him back together and that's or pull him back out and that's all you do for the transformation on the guy so it's blink, and then i wish it was a little bit easier to transform him back but it, that's that's it so you're like that you transform him back like that and it kind of gets jammed there a little bit so you have to like when you push it kind of like loosen it and then pull it but i mean it's cool I, I i guess it's not anything too different than what we got before it's just for some reason i seem to enjoy the other ones more than than this one i don't know uh i mean it's it i really i really don't see much of it i mean this guy i think looks kind of cool i mean you can maybe do have a little do 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 i'm running and i'm drawing la 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 uh but <laughs> that's that really is about it for him i mean he's weird he's interesting he's a new character like i said and i'm curious to see how he's going to turn out in the show itself but uh, beyond that that's about it underbite as well as a lot of the the first wave rid figures are starting to trickle out into retail right now so if this is something that you're interested in or maybe you think your kid would be get out there good luck and hope you can find them uh, if not, there is always, I'm moving my camera, there's always Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today.
But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotamus. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotamus and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optobotamus. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my new website at optobotamusreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optobotamus t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you like this review, don't forget to please like, comment, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.